The developers, they have about 30% margin. We're putting on 10, which is, you know, 10 times better than have the free cash in the bank. So finally, oh, uh, <laughs> I could cut good. <laughs> so is, it, <laughs> hey, is there any oh, business no, you're on. not in? <laughs> I, I get the sense from our conversations, Pavel, that you, you're a man who likes a challenge. We'll, we'll get an invitation this year, right? You've chucked in different 12. There, there we go. Okay. okay. We'll start thinking of the outfits. I mean. Oh, yeah, we got that covered. Hello and welcome to The Stream with Will and Tom podcast. On the road, special edition here at the Water Energy Exchange, WEX in Valencia, Spain. My name is Tom Freiburg. I'm an environmental journalist and content creator specializing in water. And I'm Will Sarney, a water strategy consultant doing my part to solve wicked water problems. And we are joined by old friend, colleague, and esteemed uh, WEX regular, Pavel <laughs> Policar, the chairman of the board at uh, VAC. HB, all the way from uh, Czech Republic. That's right. Pavel, good to see you again. Hello. Nice to see you, Tom. Yeah. Hello, good Will. Uh, good nice to, see to see you, you. again. Hello. <laughs> we, uh, we worked out it was eight years, I think, since uh, I last interviewed you. Yeah. And uh, we ran an article. Yeah. With the headline of, was it The Butcher? Yeah. In the best possible way. <laughs> and uh, the, the pitch was you jumped That's on right. a motorcycle, That's jumping right. over a, a railway train track. track. Railway right. track. Correct. Okay. Correct. So. <laughs> We perhaps need to provide some context, but I yeah. think that we gave you that moniker because you were tasked with taking a public sector utility, That's correct. delivering water to 200,000 people, and completely transforming it into a lean, agile, aggressive, almost a private sector. Technology oriented, very progressive, with the motivated people inside, delivering top quality services to the European standards to our customers at less than 25% uh, tariffs below the average in the country. Yeah, and that's been achieved. The first years, first months with the trade union, we had some rocky times. Uh, change, change can be rocky. Uh, rocky absolutely. times. Absolutely. Uh, and it didn't take too long to realize that <clears throat> we have a vision and we're driving the company in the right direction along with the employees for the benefit of the customers. And now we're perfect now, it means last 17 years. We're perfectly in line in partnership and we're doing a great job. Transformation is painful. It may be, particularly if you're trying to change good old habits. Oh, well, and yeah. And semi-socialistic. Culture change is a hard Humanity. That's right. right. That's right. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Correct. We're part of the problem. <laughs> yeah. Humanity, not just. You know, I mean, yeah. not, not the three of us, but yeah, right. <laughs> Everybody else. The mission of three of us is a little bit different, actually. Opposite. <laughs> right. <laughs> And so, so difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Right. It, yeah. So less how about would you tech. define then, because it's been several years since we spoke, like the, that, that success is, when you say it's run more efficiently, more mm -hmm. lean, obviously mm -hmm. the water losses have been reduced, the That's operational correct. costs and, That's and energy has been reduced. How That's are you correct. sort of judging that as a tale of success? Well, let me recap in 30 seconds what we've achieved. <clears throat> Change of a culture in the company. Top motivated management. They've got about 50 measurable criteria for mm. about 50% of their total packages. So I don't have to like them. I just know mathematically that at the end of the year, <laughs> as long as the company manages and the customers. And there are also measurable parameters of the top management on quality of the service delivery. Right. Care of the infrastructure. So they cannot cheat on anything. There's no escape gate for them. Yeah. And once you set this as a very initial step, then <clears throat> obviously you got to run it on trust. People and management got to trust you and you got to help them in the difficult times. And uh, then you have a vision and you're changing an, an ordinary municipally owned, 90% municipally owned, 10% individuals, a utility into a small, progressive, very efficient, tariff oriented, but also profit oriented. And I'll explain in a second. Tariff-wise, after 25, 20 years, we're 25% below the national average on profit per person employed, per meter of the, of, of the pipe, mm -hmm. per anything, we're by far the most profitable. Because we've developed about 50 non-regulated businesses, all of them success, and 65% of a municipal, 65% of a profit of a municipal company 
comes from non-regulated business. The, 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 peace, the more peaceful, yeah. Uh, yeah. the more peaceful we are on a tariff, the more aggressive we are in an open field uh, of business. Uh, uh, so you, a, a hybrid profit model. Love That's it. That's right. That's brilliant. That's right. <laughs> Created as a hobby. That's the funny thing. Such as talking about the non-regulated business. Yeah. Everybody's now talking nowadays, talking about photovoltaics. Right. We're running half a megawatt photovoltaics for 12 years now. There's no roof of any asset, any building, any company, including wastewater plant. We wouldn't have had uh, the panels, including some no development spaces, uh, which we're, we're keeping on wastewater plants, some spaces for future development in case of a need. Right. Anything else is filled with a photovoltaic panels. Co-generation, another half a megawatt um, from biogas. We're retreating <clears throat> uh, heat from the final effluent of wastewater plants, so, so we're saving temperature-wise the river, the recipient. Heat pumps, changing mesophilic to thermophilic uh, digestion. Additional gas that we cannot burn, we're membrane filtering to natural biogas, green natural biogas. We're injecting it into the uh, natural gas grid as a super green friction of their supplies. Um, we have labs, obviously, green, clean water and wastewater certified, doing the service for us and outside. We have, a lot of people are talking about pumping. We have for 12 years DC pumping directly from the panels uh, using service res at one, one spot, so using service res as a battery. It's a fantastic battery. But all of these things have all been monetized. You've looked at Absolutely. business models. It's Absolutely. Actually, Each of them had a separate case. It's, it's financial revenue business. back yes. into the, the business yes. on the That's extra right. the energy That's right. generation. That's right. Most of them are paid for. Most of them are for five, seven years already making serious money. Oh, that's not a bad payback at all. Well, that's what we normally aim. Seven, max 10 years, if there's a strategic element for it. Now we're building, well, by the way, we're in public lighting. The municipalities that own <laughs> us uh, in LED public lighting. Um, we have depots in those municipalities. We have people there for maintenance and operations of our plants. We have a trust. We developed a model for upgrading their public lighting in three models. Either we operate, we upgrade and operate, or we own, upgrade, and operate, sharing the savings with the municipalities. Uh, we're, in, <laughs> we're in housing development. We, the, the developers, they have about 30% margin. We're running on 10, which is you know, 10 times better than have the free cash in the bank. So finally, oh, uh, I, I could, I could. So is, it, <laughs> have a whole is there any oh, no, business no. you're not in? <laughs> but uh, just so we're, uh, pondering <laughs> here, we're being given a signal for the room, I think. But just finally, then, because um, I, I get the sense from our conversations, Pavel, that you, you're a man who likes a challenge. Yeah. And you could say that, that turning around that particular 200,000 utility has been done. You see, it's successful. It's generating business. Absolutely. So can that be replicated? Is it being yeah. replicated elsewhere around the Czech Republic? Or are you perhaps looking to, <laughs> not to my share knowledge. that knowledge to elsewhere? I'm, I'm happy to share it. Yeah. I'm happy to share the motivation models. Not to my knowledge, to be honest. Yeah. Yet. This is your next challenge, perhaps. Well, well, I, have a will. I, uh, well I have a will and we have a discussion plan. That's about. what we're going to talk about. So how do we take what he has done and get the word out? I mean, obviously what we're doing now certainly helps, but really using it as a template to scale elsewhere, like maybe in the U.S., who knows? Do you think it can, because you talked about serving 200,000 people, right. and that comes with a utility of a certain scale, but if you're right. utility serving 20 million, that that's kind of a very yeah. different yeah, operation. That's a pretty good question. I don't have I don't have answer for. Um, I don't know, Will, about your opinion. I'm, I don't know is the answer. Right. We'll, we'll give it a give it a try. But as long as you have the new pioneers, new moonshot, right? It's a new challenge. No, not not a moonshot. It, <laughs> but suddenly, it is it is possible to do, and we're also. I mean, it's. Just, just a final comment, really. Um, we also care of a culture within the company. We are probably the only water company, certainly in the Czech Rep, maybe in Europe, we organize once a year a ball 
where we socialize. And ball with a team, dancing ball with a mm -hmm. team. And we had a 30s and then we had 70s and dress code. And, and we socialize and we dance. And it's, it's uh, this year we have hippies. 12th of November, gentlemen, come to our ball, our small water company ball. It, the team is hippie. Do you want that? Hippie. Oh, of course. Of course. So we'll, we'll get an invitation this year, right? You've just been given one. 12th there, of there November. There we go. Okay. We've got to start thinking of the outfits. I mean, oh yeah, we got that covered. <laughs> <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing you. <laughs> my, well, you may not recognize me on the ball. Oh, that's a, well. You may not uh, recognize us either. Well, that's that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel invited to the Czech Rep. All right. There we go. You have uh, a deal. Another trip. Pavel. Pavel. Wonderful. Well, lovely to meet you. Always enjoy chatting. Good to see you. Anytime. Anytime. Awesome.